What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we're going to be creating an incredible coral reef. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and import the water plugin. So let's go up into edit, plugins, search for water, and then we're going to go ahead and enable this water plugin, which is an experiment, but it will be okay for us. So just click yes, and now we have to click this button to restart the engine. So go ahead and do so. Okay, so as you can see, it has imported the plugin. Um, we have this um, type of warning. We need to go ahead and click this button. It will just add some collision settings. Uh, let's go ahead and just close this, close this, and let's create a new level. So let's go up here, file, new level, and let's create a basic one. Just hit create. And now here, let's select the four and delete it. So let's go ahead and create our landscape. Let's go up here, landscape mode. And now I'm going to do is leave uh, the default settings will work for me. And I'll just make sure that we have enable edit layers added on. Use extra things for the future maybe. And just hit create. So now it will start to make this landscape. Come on, come on. You know, depending of course the size of the scale and all that stuff, it will take more or less. So here we go. Uh, let's go into selection. Let's go into quickly add to the product. Go into all classes and search for water and on here let's go ahead and drag in the water body ocean into our level as you can see gonna go ahead and reset the location in the x and y axis so it will be exactly in the center and as you can see it will start to compile all the shaders and create our ocean as you can see great so what we're going to do is just make the um the splines way smaller so it will be a little island over here so let's go ahead and just grab these splines, put them more together, and have this little island here. And on here is where we're gonna have all the coral reef and you know that sort of stuff. So I think they're gonna do is go and select the uh, the water body ocean, and I am going to go into the water high map settings and go into the follow up settings. So in here we're gonna go ahead and make this angle also like maybe 20. So it'll be more of a less of a steep uh, over here, okay? In the edge offset, we can put this to be higher or lower. So you can go ahead and decide. Um, I won't really change anything right now. Also, we can change the set offset, so it'll be kind of lower. And there's a lot of properties that, you know, we can go ahead and play around. A cool thing I like to do is add some coral noise. As you can see, we'll just add some uh, kind of effects into the borders of the island and make them you know just a bit more let's say interesting you know what i mean and of course there are many more settings that you can go ahead and touch but i'll leave that uh for you to play around okay so now what we're going to do is save the level this will be our coral and now uh, we're going to go ahead and import our coral asset pack now it is right now free during august this incredible a coral reef asset pack so i will be linking in the description go ahead and grab it and just click on to add to the product and import into this product in my case i've already done it so here it is corals and we have all the different meshes over here so what we're going to be, uh, going to be using is pcg to proceedly go ahead and spawn them on this lower part of our island so let's go ahead and enable the plugin go to edit plugins procedural content generation framework let's go ahead and click this enable this okay so the plugin has been enabled so i can just close this and let's go back into our coral level and let's right click in the content browser go into pcg and create a new pcg graph let's call this pcg underscore coral reef and let's open this up so if you haven't uh, checked it already i'll be linking in the description my beginner tutorial on pcg um but basically what we are going to be doing in here is get the landscape and now we have a lot of different things we're going to be sampling in the surface okay so randomly we're going to be placing some points in the surface if i go and just press d to debug you can see this icon here and i can just drag it into my level and you can see that it will start to appear all of this and be placed in our world so this is what we can be doing just placing it here across the surface so also let's go ahead and make this bigger so we'll go ahead and fill up of course when i resize it will go ahead and uh, snap back to how it is and there we go 
and we can start putting corals over here as you can see. So let's go ahead and make some things so it looks a bit better. I'm gonna be basically transforming the points and this is because we're gonna be making some random rotation. So in the uh, rotation max in the Z, so in the zero will be zero and in the max it will be uh, 360 and uh, we're gonna be also just putting a bit over here so maybe like 20 and 20 and so it'll be 20 there we go so it will basically add some randomness into our points and of course we have to preview this so we can just press d and then press d in this one so now we're previewing this last node and as you can see now we have the corals a bit more let's say randomized and they look just a bit better so now what we can do is also go and basically apply some static meshes. In this case, we're going to be applying all of our corals. So in here, we can start adding our mesh entries and we can start putting a lot of them. So we can just go ahead and hold control space. This will open up our content browser. And we can now go into corals, meshes, and now just go ahead and pick one of those. And of course, we also have like groups and different types of them. So you can play around with what you want and maybe actually groups will work for me for a lot of parts. So I gotta go just, you know, drag this one into here and then I'm going to go ahead and add another entry and then put another one, you know, and this is going to be repeating this for a lot. You just go ahead and put the ones that you like, that you feel the best. You can go ahead and add the ones that I'm adding right now or another ones, but you decide. So let's go ahead and just repeat this a couple of times this one over here let's also that add some um, individual ones uh, actually i like this the this this one it's pretty cool that's another one uh scripter going this one uh let's, let's put for example this one over here let's add another one and of course the more you do and the more diverse they are the better and result is going to be so now i can just go ahead uh basically start pressing the and I can just go back here, as you can see, the corals will start to appear. Now, they're very, very small, so let's go ahead and change a bit the size. So we can go back into transform points and uh, basically just play around with this. So let's go ahead and just put the scale minimum to maybe be at 3 and then max at 5. And you can see this will just make them way bigger. Maybe that's a bit too big, so let's put this to be at maybe 2 and this will be maybe at uh, 3.5 and if you can see we have the lock so we'll change through all axis so it's here great so let's go ahead and make sure that it's saved and now we start to have more and of course uh maybe there's a lot of spacing between them so what we can do is just get the uh surface spanner and just do points per square meter and maybe just put this into one and uh, that did not change anything but um basically you can uh, see yeah so you can play around with this the higher this number the more there will be um, but of course there's still some separation which will be ignored and we can also just put the points extends to maybe instead of 100 be maybe like 0.7 so we have a bit more of a points and then another thing that I had to do is basically just go ahead and copy paste this and let's add just another layer the thing is that PCG will automatically make that they don't overlap, but if we do it like this, then we just go ahead and change a bit. So we can also change the seed. So just move it. And now we have more in between, as you can see. And this starts to look much, much better. And I love it. <laughs> it is so cool. So let's go ahead and also just make sure that it will reach the ground here. So change a bit the height. There we go. I'm feeling a lot more of the ground. Now be careful. Uh, with the performance because it's quite you know, it's quite intense, but this is starting to appear in a pretty cool way So make sure to save. Let's also just go ahead and click this button to put the points extends back to This value because it is trying to put it too many points and we have an error Now a cool thing will be to you know Go ahead and just put the whole volume over a place and automatically it will detect the height and not put it in the island only you know from this specific height into the ocean. So what we can do is use a specific node. So let's go ahead and just put this over here. Let's do the point filter. Okay, let's go ahead and just hold Alt, press this, and pass in the inside filter. 
So here we're going to do is put an operator and this has to be if it's less than a specific height. In this case, the target attribute will be a position. And now what we can do is add a point Z. So it will be in the Z axis. Now we can go ahead and just click the constant threshold and we can make this a float and leave it at maybe, yeah, zero. So now as you can see, a lot of the corals will start to appear only depending on the height. We can go ahead and just copy, paste this over here, just hold control mode here and make a new pin. And now all of the cores will start only at this specific height. And we can go ahead and just make this maybe like 300, 400, for example, and it will fill in the island. We can put at the other time, uh, minus 200, and it will only start more a bit in the ocean. So there's a lot of things that you can play around, maybe even minus 400 and so on. And also just do it in the other one. So maybe minus 350. So we have some variation and it will start more in the bottom of the ocean. Now I like to have it a bit sneak picking. So maybe 150 will may work for me good, but you can play around with value. As you can see, now they will start over there. So there's a lot of things that you can play around to get what you want with this incredible cool uh, corals, right? Uh, another thing let's do is go ahead and add some sand. So let's go ahead and import a texture from Quixel Bridge. Let's go up here, window, Quixel Bridge. I am going to be using this bright desert sand. Uh, of course, you can use whatever type of sand you want, but in my case, I'm gonna be using this one. So let me just go ahead and add it into my project. All right, so it has imported. I can just go ahead and select my landscape. Let's go down and just add it into the landscape material like so. And there we go. We now have the sand applied and it looks much, much better. Like the tone of the Caribbean ocean list. I like it more. Now let's go ahead and just make it a bit bigger. So we can do is open this up. Let's go into tiling and let's change the value to 0.3 and 0.3 in X and Y. And now it will be a bit bigger and it will look a bit nicer. We already have this cool core reef going on. Oh my God, come on, load the ocean in the video. <laughs> it looks very nice. Um, but yeah, like this is pretty cool. You can go ahead and play around with all of the settings. You can put more type of um, meditation on. For example, we can do one for only kind of more of the type of uh, kind of plants that they will grow. So uh, yeah, this kind of seaweed. So let's add some seaweed and just go ahead and just get this copy paste. And then static mesh, gonna remove it, add a new one. And this will be another type. So this will be, for example, uh, let's go into the mesh entries, add a new one. And this will be the seaweed. And this one, for example. And now we have this. Uh, let's make it bigger. So we can just go ahead and put this to be maybe five and seven, right? And it will be like, okay, maybe that's too big, but <laughs> you get the idea. Three and four. It's a bit nicer, yeah. Um, and you can you know, play around with that. Right now, it can be a bit repetitive, so you can add some kind of oscillation with the opposite and minimum and max in the uh, position. So maybe we can put a bit of uh, here, like 20, maybe five and five and 20 and here the same uh, five five 20 five and 20 so oh, we kind of just move around and shove and it will look a bit less repetitive but of course this is just testing you can play around with values to get what you want so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine tutorials so check them out the product files will be available in my patreon and the members so check it out join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes before i said bye bye